are back in the Philippines, back home, and we're just heading down to the property right now. We're picking up lunch for our workers and picking up some money, and we're heading right there. And uh, I get to see what the house looks like. I haven't seen anything since I left. They put the posts in the day before I left, and that's all I got to see was the posts in the ground. So it's pretty exciting. And Nika's very excited too because she's been stuck at home for the last month and uh, she gets to go with us today so she's pretty excited about that and my lovely wife is here she's excited about that too and now we're just waiting for Papa and we're heading down there welcome to day 33 so the guys today they are putting up a form to do the main beam that's going across the posts for the structure of the roof and the main structure of the house so that's what they're up to there hopefully they can get the forms done and get it poured today on the front anyway a dirt delivery sand delivery and these guys have a fancy truck they actually have a dump box on this one Hot wiring is switch. Twist the wires together to make it work. Find the gear. There we go. might flip right over. If the box didn't open, it probably would flip over on its back when he tips it up. Because the dirt's heavier than the truck. With driver. So this is a six meter, six cubic meter delivery. And the very first delivery we got was called five cubic meters and it was nowhere near this size. We were getting ripped off by the other company. We've since stopped buying from them. We got tired of being burned. So now we're onto this company. These guys are cheaper and a bigger pile for our money. So much better. So we're in the garage area and they've got this part finished off pretty decent. So there's the entrance into the walk-in closet that then goes into the bedroom or you go to the left and it goes up to the back balcony. So that'll be a balcony where you see the concrete block in the ground there and on this side. And then on this side, this is an entrance way to go from the front balcony into the garage so you don't have to go outside and get wet to get in the garage. You see there in the middle, the vents that are in the wall right at the uh, pieces of rebar sticking up where the post is going to be. Those are vents for the bathroom. And the kids' bedrooms will be built on either side where you see this window and the far window, oh, no, not the far window, this window here will be the two kids' rooms. The far window is not a window. Okay, let's start over. And then these will be the kids' bedrooms where you see this window here and that window there. Those are the two kids' rooms with the bathroom in the middle. And then way over there will be the kitchen at the, at the very back. Today's menu for lunch is fish head stew. Nummy, nummy. I will be eating bread and no fish heads too for me. They don't want to share anyway. You don't want to eat. They like it too much. They don't want to share with me. Nika. And Nika wants to share. She likes the fish heads too. 
so they're gonna mix their concrete for the 183rd time. And they're making the form, well, they have the form made and they're going to pour concrete into the uh, cross beam here at the top. Five minutes, just enough to get everybody wet. And now the sky is blue again. And they're going to finish mixing the concrete. I guess they need less water for it now. Because it's already got wet. He's performing a very dangerous operation up there because that piece is wobbling all over the place. But he doesn't seem to mind. These guys are a little bit crazy. Oh, good, it's starting to rain too. Again. With that cloud right there. But it's leaving, so it shouldn't be too bad. We brought Nika with us today. I was happy to come home and see that the family didn't eat her. I guess I left them enough money for food. That's a good thing. <laughs> good morning. It's day 34 of building our house here in the Philippines. And as you see, they have taken the form off for the top uh, bridge that they're putting across the posts, the beam. And uh, they're going to do the right side today, as well as some block work. We're getting there slowly but surely, but it's starting to look like a house, and it's pretty exciting. Got Papa with me today, that's Papa right there. He came to just help us out. He's a really good man. It's actually a pretty nice day here. It's a little hot, but not too bad. And I love my view in my backyard. This is a wonderful view. I can't wait till we actually live here and get to sit on our bal balcony and just enjoy the scenery. The form is almost ready and they will be pouring the concrete soon. They're just finishing up sealing all the little gaps to make sure they don't lose any outside. And then they'll be ready to rock and roll and get this beam done. So I thought I'd show you the blueprint of what we're building here so that you can understand it. So we've got the driveway coming in here, and then here we have the garage, which is uh, about 23 by 23 feet, I think, 540 square feet total. We have the front porch area, which is right here, and then we have an eight foot door coming into the house. Um, we're going to have like a roll up garage door on it, so that we can shut it down when we want to, but 99% of the time the, the doors will be wide open to allow air to flow through the house as we are not air conditioning the whole house, just the individual bedrooms, and that's it. So on the right here, you see the, the two kids' rooms with the bathroom in between. Up in the top right will be the kitchen area and then the dining area to the left of that. Then over here we have the walk-in closet right here above the garage with an entrance going out to the patio. We have an entrance also going to the garage from that walk-in closet. So, so just another access to the garage. This room in the center here above the garage is going to be my office. This will be the master bedroom here with an ensuite bathroom. There's a utility room just above the bathroom. That's where our pump will go in and we could probably use it for like a pantry as well. And then you've got another eight foot door going out the back of the house. And then you've got the whole porch area here, which gets bigger on the left hand side. That little square you see at the top, that's where our well is. 
and then we have a we're going to build a sidewalk that goes around the house like this and across to the other side and our septic tank is going to be where the yellow box is there that's going to be under the sidewalk you can see the basic design of the house here it's going to have a split level roof Garage on the left, porch on the right. I'm trying to do this as smoothly as possible to show you. So then you've got bedrooms on the right, kitchen up on the top right, master bedroom, and these orange things you see are just the uh, where the beams are going to go for the supports. For the roof. And if we go around the back, I don't know why the well is so tall, just ignore that. It won't be like that. This is not the official drawing, the official blueprint that I'm using. This is just an earlier copy that I put on my phone so that I could get measurements off it when I was. And here's the house with the furniture, I guess we'll say, and the counters and stuff like that. So you've got kitchen is going to have a wraparound counter. I forgot to mention the living room where it's located is right there. So the house is a total of 2,750 square feet and the driveway, I made the driveway like this on purpose so that when you come in off the road, which is way down here, it's, the house is 130 feet off the road. So you come in the driveway here and then you come to the gate that's here and after you come through the gate then you take a little jog over to the right and the purpose of that was so that people can't really see the house from the road there would be a wall across the front here where the gate is and uh, they won't be able to see the house as well we're going to have trees planted everywhere as well to kind of hide it I guess just more for privacy than anything. It's not like we're trying to make the house disappear. We're just trying to make it so that we have privacy and people can't really see and to see much. So lunch is over and the boys have had their siesta and now they're mixing up some concrete to finish that other beam going across. So they're just making piles of, getting piles of gravel and sand and they'll mix it up in a pile in the middle of the garage area, throw some water in it, and away they go. So now they're just gonna start a chain of guys, have them in different positions so they can just throw the buckets full of concrete up. And chuck it in the top. It's not a very exciting video to watch, I realize. But this is just one of the stages of building the house and hopefully we get to a little more exciting part of the content soon. It's very boring for me here today because none of these guys speak English and my wife isn't here today and I speak a little bit of the local dialect but I'm not good enough to have a conversation. So I'm just here to film and uh, make a video so everybody out there can watch the house being made. I know people that live locally here wouldn't be interested in this because they see this every day, but this is a much different style than what people in North America, anyway, they, they're used to. Um, Western society does things a little bit differently. So they put a line across the, for the roof line. You can't see it on the camera, but it's just a string. And now they're going to build up the wall with blocks to match the roof line. 
it's really going to start looking like a house soon. It's pretty exciting. There's the carabao coming home. I really like seeing the front of this coming together. It gives a little perspective on what the house is going to look like. Even though there's absolutely nothing on the back wall. At least the front looks like something. So this is a split level roof. So the side that he's working on now is going to be about 13 and a half feet high in the middle. And then the roof coming from the other side will overlap that roof. And where it overlaps will be about 15 and a half feet high. So there'll be a two foot gap between the height of the one side of the roof to the other. We decided to go with that design because we're going to put a ventilation system in that two foot gap. And because the roof on the right will overhang the roof on the left, it will keep water and everything from coming in through the ventilation system. And the ventilation system is to help dissipate the heat out of the house and you know for when you're cooking and stuff like that especially that heat will rise and it'll go with the ventilation system rather than stay in the house So the boys are done for today. They'll finish that part tomorrow morning. It'll probably be done before I get here because they start at seven in the morning and I don't normally get here till nine or 10. So anyway, we'll see you again tomorrow. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow.